Hey, 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 right here. Hey. All right. We think, Larry. Hey everyone, welcome back to the farm. It's Brad with Batch Elder Family Farms and <laughs> again, stock trailers hooked up to the truck. We're ready to go get another animal. Stick around. This time, the animal is in our own doing. We had a friend of a friend reach out to us. They just bought a property near where my dad lives and the owners left a big bull that they need out of the property. They don't have a pin anywhere to catch it. I don't know anything about the animal, but we're gonna see if we can go down and help them out. I'm gonna go pick up my dad. We're gonna get some panels and we're gonna head over to their property. Down here, my dad's got the stock trailer loaded up. We've got some panels, um, a little bucket to put feed in and then a bucket full of feed. Not sure what we're gonna need. I just, uh, the only thing they said is they don't have a pin for him. So, trying to bring everything we can think of. Well, before we head up there and uh, try to get this bull, I wanna check out some of our bulls we have here at my dad's that we raise. Uh, put some feed in the bunk here so we can get a better look at them. Well, you can tell the two bigger ones here in the middle um, those are the ones we've raised. The bigger one here close to, closer to us is a coming three-year-old. His name's Bullseye. The one next to him is, uh, his name is Duke. Uh, he'll be five um, this fall. He's four-year-old right now. And then this is our boy Skip right here. This is the one that his mom died when he was little and we brought him up to our place. Um, she was registered Angus cow. Really nice cow. Uh, bred to one of our old bulls and um, he is we had him in the pen for a long time at our place he is a really nice he is really slick looking so and then the other ones are all yearling bulls they'll be turning year old this year really good looking group of bulls this year very very proud of them and then of course we have our two big guys would have been the sire uh, rubble here would have been the sire to the registered bulls that are over there Bolt does a lot of our commercial cows, and they are they are ready. Guys, you got about a month. We'll bring you up, and you'll be out with the ladies. Can you wait a month? What do you think, Rubble? You're too friendly. Go on. Stop it. Yeah. Rubble's the one here that whenever uh, we go out and feed in the ranger, he tries to crawl in the ranger with us. So we got him when he was eight months old um, and he has been raised like a pet and sometimes that's the problem with some of these bulls is they get too friendly and they grow up they don't realize how big and strong they are but he's never done anything never come at us he just gets a little too friendly sometimes but he has been an outstanding bull and we'll have him this breeding season and next breeding season for sure and then we'll just have to keep an eye on him and, and see how he can just continues to do for now, let's uh, let's go up and see if we can get this bull. And I want to talk to my dad a little bit before we go up there. I've never picked up uh, an unwanted animal like this before, so not really sure what to expect. We'll see if uh, my dad has some advice and some things to watch out for. All right, Dad, going to pick up a bull we don't know anything about. Don't really know how old he is. <laughs> what could this entail? Well, anywhere from being him being the most docile animal you'd ever ask for, a calm one or a wild one. Uh, I've seen this bull driving them down the road. He's the only one in this little pasture, and he stands there a lot of times looking across the road at other other cows and stuff. So I think he's going to be fairly easy to load up. Uh, if he's used to eating grain, then he'll probably walk right into our panels. We can go ahead and shut him down on that and then load him up into the stock trailer. So 
it's always uh, an exciting experience when they do stuff like this so we'll see how it goes famous last words There he is. Come on, big guy. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Do you know how long he's, how old he is? Four. He's four? Come here. Come on. Hey. Come on, buddy. Right here. Watch him. He's coming back. Come on, dude. <laughs> Got to come a little bit further now. You're a big boy. Come on. I think he knows something's up. Yeah. Well, you certainly know what grain is. Trying to make a trail for him to get in. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Never seen it do that. Yeah. Come on. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, come here. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Coming. <laughs> hey, 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 right here. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, big guy. Hey.
Hey! Hey! Come on. Hey! Back here with my parents. Um, that could not have went any smoother. Well, it could have went a little bit smoother. He kind of cornered my dad a couple times against the fence and the stock trailer gate. But luckily, dad said he had enough room to kind of get out of the way. He wasn't butting the gate. Um, he was more pushing against it. I think he was just curious on what was behind the gate. Took us a little bit, but he just followed that grain right into the trailer. <laughs> he almost followed me out the side door to the stock trailer, so uh, that would have been a whole different problem, but he stayed in there, and uh, and now it's just deciding what we're gonna do with him. He was unwanted by the people that sold the property. I don't know the situation. Like I said, a friend of a friend called us. Uh, we just came up to help them out, and my, my worry is that we don't have a place to pull him, put him. He's a Holstein cross bull, which Holstein is a dairy, uh, dairy cow breed, and we have um, Black Angus and Wagyu Angus Cross, so those are all beef cattle. So if he was smaller, I thought he'd, he'd been a pet and he'd be able to come up to our farm and and be there for people to come out and visit, but he's just too big. We just don't have a place to keep him right now, and I'm concerned that if we put him in with the bulls in the corral at my dad's, that they may fight, they will fight, and something, um, one of them could push the other one into something or who knows what happens when bulls fight so we're going to go in and talk about it i'm not sure what's going to happen uh with him right now but we got him off that property for those people they have four small kids so they don't have to uh be concerned with something happening to one of their kids if they go into the field with him for now i'm going to go in and talk with my dad maybe have my mom make some lunch that would be great and then uh, i'm going to go back and do some chores up at our place and see how the animals are doing there Yes, mom's making lunch. What are we having? Chicken strips. All right. Yes. Back here, getting ready to do chores. First thing I did was came come to check on the quail. And look what we have for the first time. Ah, our very own quail eggs. There's a bunch of them in here too. So that means that they are about eight weeks old now. Um, eight plus weeks old, that's when quail can start laying eggs. So we're gonna start getting quail eggs every day. I'm super excited about it. Here's the tricky part of messing with the quail is that they can fly. One, two. Oh, we smashed one, darn it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, count, fourteen. No, stop it. Hey, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen eggs, one smashed. So I checked them yesterday and I didn't see any quail eggs. So I don't know if today's the first day or if I've just missed or what, but getting our own quail eggs. Well, we haven't seen these two in a little while. Chief 
and Phyllis over here getting ready to feed them some flakes of alfalfa alpha hay. See if Chief's interested in a cube. You know he is. They're doing really well. Um, we're not sure if Phyllis is bred. Ashley on the other side. We'll go over and check on her in just a minute. It definitely is. And she's just continuing to, uh, her stomach's starting to grow more. Ooh, I'll feed you in just a minute. But Phyllis is kind of leveled out. Uh, I think she's just, uh, <laughs> gets her a fair share of feed. So I don't know that she's gonna have a calf this year, which is disappointing to us. We we're really hoping she had one, but as long as she's healthy, that's that's all we really care about. And uh, Chief will have plenty of ladies here that will hopefully calve next year and in the years to come. Let's get these, this guy and these ladies, some alfalfa flakes. What we feed them primarily is these flakes of alfalfa bales. Um, that's just something you get at tractor supply or any form, farm store. A We put a brome bale on the feeder and then typically we have just a, um, a fescue bale. They've just finished it off. I need to get another one in here. But they, for whatever reason, they attack that fescue bale first and they just graze on the brome and graze on the alfalfa. And uh, um, that's <laughs> surprising to me. I don't know if it's because the brome's so high quality and the alfalfa so high quality that they just need a little bit of it and then just eat the other to eat it. But that's kind of what they do. Oh. Okay, you ready? You want some flakes? So we give these two about, these bales are 50 pounds, pounds a piece. So we give these two about two thirds of one of the bales and they get to eat out of the feeder because they're the boss, they're in charge. And then I spread the rest of it out for the others in the pen. Elise is of the newest ones to be here, is a ah, one that's getting the next closest. She'll actually get to eat out of the feed bunk with them a little bit. But the two yearlings, um, Elise is two already. These two are still a year old, but these two right here uh, <clears throat> came from a farm in Missouri who had bought their herd from Canada. And they are just beautiful animals. They're big and broad. And even though they're younger, they're gonna make some really, really good mamas down the road. I know we just had an update on Ashley last week, but bison carry their calves um, I think all bovine I need to look that up carry their calves on the right side and her right side is just bigger than Phyllis's none of these other ones have calved <clears throat> they shouldn't have been bred they should be getting bred for the first time this year uh, except for Ashley here and when we got her she was preg check confirmed that she was having a calf she was in her third trimester so it was about a month ago, so now at most she's 60 days out. I think she's a lot closer, but with our, it being her first time having her, I just don't know exactly um, what her signs are, but really excited. Hope everything goes well. It's hard to get a shot of her udders. I think we just saw a little bit there, but you can tell she's making a bag, and uh, I mean, it really could be any day now. Fingers crossed. What's up, Rocky? okay if you remember back they wouldn't even come close to us when we first got them now they'll come up sniff our hands Chewy keeps getting his halter off I haven't switched it off of him yet um, he's actually gotten pretty good about just let me put it on him I've just uh, got to do it more and need to get it on video sometime but there you go curly What do you think, Larry? You get a little more inquisitive. We have found out that Larry loves dandelions and his food, and he thinks he's a duck. Come here, Larry.
He's definitely not as nervous around us. You can tell he's still breathing a little bit heavier. Still a little anxious around us, but he's doing, he's doing really well. All right. Well, thank you for following along today. Hope you enjoyed uh, <laughs> seeing what it's like to pick up an animal that we don't know anything about. Some of the precautions, luckily that was an easy one, easier than, uh, than expected. Um, I was in the stock trailer with him for a little bit, but I had the side door open. I was able to jump out. It wasn't any, any big issue. Um, glad my dad didn't get pinned down. Big thanks to him for helping get him picked up. Hope everyone stays well. If you have not yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to ring that notification bell. We'll see you back here real soon.